Good morning, my brilliant students. How are you doing this morning? Jusilla, you're fine. That's nice. Anthony, how are you? You're excited to be at class today. That's nice. Mark, you're fine as well? Okay. Teacher is fine to be here too. And she's ready to have a great day with you students. So today we'll be continuing on laundry work. And we'll quickly recap what was taught in our previous class. So can anyone define the term laundry work? Jusilo. Yes. Laundry work is the dry cleaning, yes, finishing and treating of household articles and personal garments. Yes, very good. Give her a clap for that class. Next person, you will now state the importance, the reasons for laundry work. Anyone? Mark. To improve the smell, yes, very good. You say that? So, remove dirt or dust. Yes, very good. Next person, one more reasons. To improve the appearance. Yes, very good. And to make it last longer. Yes, very good. So, I can see all of you went home and did some revision on the last class. And I must applaud you on that. So for today, we will be looking at the equipment used in laundry work. And after today's lesson, you will be able to classify laundry equipment and state examples of the classifications. And on the board here, we have a list of equipment, laundry equipment. And as I call out the laundry equipment, you will state whether it's finishing, whether it's washing or drying. Yes, because laundry equipment are classified into three groups, which is the washing, drying, and finishing. The first one we have here is clothes peg. And most of you may say clothes clip as we know. So clothes clip, which classification you will put this the clothes clip yes clothes peg comes under drying because remember you use the clothes peg to clip the clothes under line the next one we have here is clothes basket where does this one go under washing very good Anthony Yes, so it comes under washing because when we put the nasty clothes inside the basket to be washed. Or even after you finish rinsing the clothes, you put it in the basket. The next one we have here is the ironing board. Where this one falls under? Finishing. Yes, very good. And why does it fall under finishing? Can anyone say why? Because after the clothes is finished drying, we iron it on the board. Yes, very good. Meaning that we apply the after scales to the garment or whatever the household article is to be finished. The next one is the Hansel hanger. This one falls under drying. Very good. And why it falls under drying? Anyone? Alia? Because we hang clothes on the hanger to dry. Yes. Even we can also hang clothes on the hanger which is already dry. Very good. The next one we have here is the spin yeah. dryer. Where can this be classified? Under drying. Yes, this one was easy. So, the spin dryer are classified as dry equipment because we put clothes in there or other household articles to be dried after it's finished washing. The next one we have is the bucket. Where this falls? 
under washing yes the bucket falls under washing because we can put clothes in the bucket to wash also and finally we have the tub where can this be classified under washing as well very good alio so we put clothes in the tub also to be washed or even rinsed very good so all of you got the equipment correct under the classification so i will now distribute handouts and we will read and discuss as a class good let's read first thing we have there equipment used in laundry work now all equipment used in laundry work are classified into three groups according to their uses and the first group is washing equipment now, equipment used during this process of washing garments and articles are the first one sinks yes boilers tubs yes bowls mm -hmm. buckets yes tongues clothes baskets yes washing brushes washing boards and washing machines so basically all the things that used for washing are classified under this group on the board with the hand cell hangers the tumble dryer also in other words you can say dryer that's the same washing machine dryer have the dryer that comes with the, the, um, the washing machine itself with the two compartments and also comes single we have the drying cabinets the dryer racks clothes lines clothes pegs and heels hoist yes so basically all the equipment used for drying clothes and household articles are classified in this group and all of you supposed to or should know of what this equipment looks like <laughs>
know most of you or all of you understand now what these examples of these classifications are great we'll now conclude our lesson since everyone would have understand what these classifications are along with their examples and now like each and every one of you to put away all handouts and exercise book good and now share out the worksheets good on the worksheet it have a list of equipment which you will have to place under the correct category which is washing drying and finishing i give you three minutes to do so good so the time is now up kindly put all worksheets at the side of the table and for the persons who got all correctly will be given a prize on the next class and this brings us to the end of our lesson it was nice being here with the students so kindly go home and do some revision and share with mommy or daddy what did you have learned today <laughs>